Presidential candidate Joe Biden, fresh off his first primary win in 30 years in three attempts at running for president, just made an ironic attack against Donald Trump and also uh, got a newscaster's name wrong. So I can hardly wait to debate him on stage. I want, to, I want people to see me standing next to him and him standing next to me. <laughs> we'll see who's sleepy. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, thank you. Thanks for your time. Please come back in less than 13 years, sir. All right, Chuck. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Uh, it's Chris, I but mean, anyway. Chris. I just did Chris. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I just did Chuck. I tell you what, man, and these are back to back. Anyway, no, it's I don't okay. Know how you do it early in the morning, too. Sa safe, tra you, safe travels on Appreciate the campaign it. trail. Thank you, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I'm look, I just did Chris. I mean, I just did Chuck. I mean, I did Chris Chuck. I did Chuck Chris. Where am I? How did I get here? I don't understand. Sleepy. No, we'll see who's sleepy. You just fell asleep right there. You didn't even know who you were talking to. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. I don't. All right. So, look, th this is funny because he was actually literally getting asked about his mental fitness to go up against Donald Trump because earlier at CPAC, Trump had this to say about Joe Biden. Joe's not going to be running the government. He's just going to be sitting in a home someplace. <laughs> and people are going to be running it for him. Uh, look, I just want to point out the irony. First, yeah, kind of funny, right? The whole thing was like a comic routine. <laughs> um, a bad comic routine, but nonetheless. Uh, so the irony, of course, is that Donald Trump doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> so it is kind of funny that he's saying, ah, Joe Biden is going to be sitting home. He's not going to be doing anything. People are going to be running it for him. What do you think is happening in this, this administration? Except for being in a home, Donald Trump's just, I don't know, in, in, I guess in, in his bedroom watching Fox News and tweeting at people while drinking Diet Coke and eating hamburgers. But hey, you know. I guess, whatever. <laughs> but it is ironic, right? Uh, this entire thing, because, again, he gets uh, attacked over his mental fitness and then messes up the name of Chris Wallace. Calls him Chuck. Chuck. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, this is, again, it's literal irony. It's like licking a monkey bar, but with less chance of contracting diseases. Now... Here's the thing. I remember a time when Joe Biden was actually sharp, when he could debate uh, and when he actually got people's names right and didn't mess things up like this. I remember when he crushed Paul Ryan during a debate. But since then, look, Biden still got some moments, I guess, but he's nowhere near sharp as when he used to be. OK, and, 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 I, and I'm not saying that because, oh, I don't like Joe Biden. I don't want him to win. Uh, yes, it's true. I don't want him to win. I want Bernie Sanders to win because Bernie Sanders is incredibly sharp and knows what he's talking about. Uh, but it's because I notice, and I think all of you have, there is a decline in Joe Biden, right? I've noticed this. He goes on weird, nonsensical tangents on the debate stage. He forgets what state he's in. Again, uh, maybe a lot of us are missing it because we're used to the, you know, person in the White House's brain is melting. Uh, but now we've got two candidates with brain melt. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, and while it's true, of course, Trump's brain has been melting. He's never been a smart person to begin with. Joe Biden used to be slick. I mean, he used to, he used to do really well. Go back to that. Go back and watch some of those old debates where he took on Paul Ryan. He did excellent. He was you know, he crushed him, crushed him. But now Biden's losing it. And that's not good. I mean, I can't imagine a debate now between Biden and Trump. It's going to be straight nonsense for an hour. And at some point, someone's eyeball will explode. Not good. I'm pretty sure we can do better than this. I mean... Bloomberg, yes, we'd be curb stomped in the debate. We've already seen that, right? Buttigieg is out. Klobuchar is out. 
you got Warren, uh, who isn't going to win anything. Um, you know, she she's con- consistently placed fourth and fifth in these upcoming uh, in, in these last races, and the polling doesn't look good for her on some of the next races. It's a two person st- uh, race right now. Biden and Bernie. Now, funny enough, and you guys may disagree with me, but I actually do think Elizabeth Warren would do pretty well in the debate against Donald Trump because taking on alleged billionaires is something that she's actually good at. But she has no path to the nomination and she keeps trying to burn the bridge with Sanders supporters. And it's really sad because I've out, I look, I want to like her, but she keeps trashing us. And it's ridiculous. Taking super PAC money. She's, you know, attacking Bernie Sanders. And it's 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 really it's really sad to see. Okay. Uh it it needs to be it needs to be Bernie versus Biden. And and we need progressives all hands on deck to go and fight against this guy. Because if you're interested in taking on Trump, Biden ain't it. He's losing his marbles. Uh, and so, no, we've got to get a, We've got to have a candidate out there that is smart, that is slick, and that has a path to the nomination that doesn't end up destroying the Democratic Party in the process. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.